review. Golden County episode 6. Um, yeah, I think the episode was pretty good. I think the last episode was better. The last episode was amazing last week. So, uh, I don't think that's... Sometimes, you know, you're coming up for an episode where it's like, wow, this is an episode. The end of the next episode is like, it's a pretty fine episode. But it's hard to always come have like a maximum super episode every week, right? So that's fine. Um, and uh, this episode is a nice touch to it. It's like, it's like the hunter versus the hunter. Who is actually hunting who? And the whole like, who is the best hunting do and so on. So um, it's an interesting setting on it. And they are both hunting the deer. And then it's like the... It's kind of cool because you see different techniques, right? Like, oh, I see a of this thing, this guy's doing this thing, like he's burning the, his poop, and, you know, she's doing all this. So they have a lot of different skill set when it comes to hunting, and that's pretty interesting to see, actually. So I think that episode was quite enjoyable overall, um, even though it wasn't as an amazing episode as that. But, but that was pretty fine. And it did... I didn't think that was going to be the case, to be honest, but so that's... That it's just pretty convenient that he has the, the the map. I mean, like that thing was of course revealed this episode, right? And it feels like, eh, why not? I guess because otherwise, <sighs> how say it? It definitely feels, as I mentioned, convenient. Uh, but it means that they can go in there and kind of like, well, we have to save a reptile, have to save a wolf, right? And by doing that, we also automatically get one more skin. So it definitely feels like okay, yeah, that's kind of like they will do this, they will do they will save the wolf anyway, right? So by having him having the skin, it's just a, uh, an easy bonus for them. So I don't know how I feel about that honestly. It's like okay, I guess we kind of progress the main story by doing the side quest, right? So why not? Uh, and because that reason though, I don't think this guy guy this guy's gonna die that fast. I don't know. Yeah, he did lose some fingers in the ending, right? So he was quite. Getting quite in your ear, of course, you can mostly punch as well, but they are like two against one there, up in that force at least. Um, I think the other one's on the side, right? Hmm, yeah. Just cool though that they, <laughs> the dog jumped in the safe, though, that was good, yeah. That did not pick that up, that was good, that was nice. Um, generally, the, yeah, the classic and dog, that was pretty good. Some really weird sounds. Um, but anyway, I think that he's probably gonna die at least before the guy, yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, you know, the soldier, no, no former soldier, no hunter. I think he has more of an, like, over, kind of lasting storyline with the hunter guy, um, Nisu Hayao, and he's probably gonna die eventually. Maybe next episode, he's probably gonna die quite rapidly. And then he, I believe, is gonna stay here in the story, right? Kind of try, still trying to kill the wolf. And also, kind of like, I'm gonna get revenge, that's, I wanna get the gold. So he has a lot of different motivations there. And so he's probably gonna be the kind of, you know, I don't know, fifth faction on the side kind of guy uh, appearing way later again in like 20 episodes. Probably, I think so. We had this the main hunter has died died, with the ninja skin and so on. And he seems to be, he kind of got his flashback episode right, which is that he was, he was a good hunter and then people stole his prey and he went after them and he killed them. That thing was really good, that, that fact was pretty good already, like, he will, he kills him anyway. See the cops as I capture the last guy. He's like, nope, he have to break his neck. He's like, no, this guy is, deserves to die. I don't care. And of course he got arrested because he murdered someone in front of them. And even if that guy deserved it, and he clearly was going to get punished or right, he took the law and so on hands in front of like three, four policemen here. So there definitely was, he definitely committed a crime and a murder. <laughs> so, but that was a really, really bad. He's a pretty cool character. He really is, but, um, but, that, but also in that notion though, that's probably why he's gonna die probably quite soon because his flashback, I feel that pretty much fleshed him out, right? He's a super experienced hunter that had guys going after his prey and he took revenge on them and they deserved it and so on. But that, that, and that also means that he's a, he's a really crazy killer, but at the same time, what he did wasn't just like he was some random murderer, he actually killed them because he had a very motivational reason for it right but we know that reason now we know how to kill them and he was like yeah you know then i went back to the forest when i could escape so i think his his character is pretty much already explained right there's something more hidden character with the older guy he has this whole family thing he has also some voice behind him history seventh legion he has a lot of more stuff to be explored right i think i think the hunter is pretty much set in stone now how he is as a character and uh, that is probably why he can die you know as fast as possible for, for that reason mainly because I don't think they can dwell much more on his character. 
I might be completely wrong, but I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty good episode. It's a good joke, so of course, in the middle. Yeah, I love that Asipa was flying through the roof. That was weird, but funny. So yeah, hope I see you, and I'll see you guys next week.